For those of you that are looking to get a new VPN app for your Android device, well, today I'm going to be sharing three of the favorite ones that I've been using for the past two months. All right, let's begin. All right, so the first app we're going to talk about is called VPN Speed, and I like it for three reasons. The first reason is that it has a very clean interface. Now with this VPN app, you're not going to get any ads and uh, you don't even have a lot of buttons. You just have the button that you use to connect to the VPN. However, I wish the button was at the bottom of the screen because sometimes it's hard to reach. But anyways, if you check out the settings, you'll see that they are also very minimal. Not a lot of things to choose from. I feel like this is a VPN for anyone who just wants to, you know, get connected quickly and carry out whatever it is they want to do with the VPN. The second reason why I like this VPN app is because it's very easy to use. I don't know if I said it before, but if you want to connect to any server, after selecting it, then you just swipe on the blue button to the right and you're going to get connected. Now the VPN app is going to try to show you that you have a new IP address, but you don't have to open any browser for that. You just need to head over to the browser or the website you want to use and uh, yeah, you'll be connected to the country you selected. The final reason why I like this VPN is because the servers are free. Now most VPNs, the free ones, they will just give you a few countries to choose from. But this one, there are lots of countries that you can select and yeah, I've tested most of them and they work so I suggest you give it a try. Although this VPN is great, there's just one thing that I do not like about it and um, it's that you cannot select the apps that will be connected with the VPN. So you know, if you have like a banking app, if your bank is a very good bank, they will know when you're connected to a network that's not normal from what you normally access the bank with like if you have the banking app so with this vpn app there's no way to you know remove your banking app or maybe a crypto app from accessing that network and that's the only thing i don't like about it but besides that i guess this is a very good vpn and uh, yeah you should check it out if you want all right so the second vpn that i have on my list is called browser and um, this is one of the vpns that i've been using for a long time i actually started using it before the other two vpns that i will be talking about today and um, the reason why I like it is because it has a clean interface and um, this time the button is at the bottom so it is very reachable if you want to use the VPN app. Besides browser like not having ads, it's also very easy to use and um, because this time the button is at the bottom, you just need to tap on it and you're going to get connected. You also have this feature where you can select one app. On the free version, you can only select one app that will not use the VPN network. Or like VPN speed that doesn't have that feature, but um, here you're going to get that. And it also has this always on VPN um, connection. So this way, your phone is always going to be connected to the VPN network. So you don't have any moment of um, disconnection from the VPN network. If there's a reason why you want that to happen. Anyways, those are some of the good things about the VPN app. But well, on the downside, with browser, you don't get a lot of free servers. You only get like three. And um, I've had a time when all the servers were not working besides the premium ones. So if you want to make sure that you're always having um, a VPN network to use, then make sure you get the premium version. But anyways, it didn't last up to two hours before they brought back the free servers. So with the browser, you only get three free servers. And uh, yeah, that's one of the bad things about it. Besides that, I don't think there's anything wrong with browser, like compared to the other app that I'll be talking about. And uh, yeah, those are the good features and the not so good features. All right, let's talk about the last one. All right, so the reason why Potato VPN is my favorite VPN at this point is because it has a UDP network. So with a UDP network, gaming online is going to be very fast. And because I like gaming, Call of Duty is the only game I normally play. Well, I like using um, Potato VPN to get that extra boost to make sure I don't lag when I play games. So for gamers out there, if you want to try it out, you should just make sure you select UDP before you connect to the network. Also, with Potato VPN, you get more free servers compared to browser. But if you compare it with um, VPN speed, well, they are roughly the same. However, with Potato VPN, you don't get that feature where you can, you know, remove an app from having the VPN connection. I wish they implemented that in this app, but uh, well, maybe in the future that may happen. All right, so those are my three recommended free VPN apps for Android. And because I feel like you're interested in using VPNs, that means you must be interested in security. So watch this video to learn how to generate passwords that are very complex and will be hard for anyone to, you know, guess to hack your account. All right, so I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.